In this video, I'm going to go over the third composition, which is going to use, um, it's going to focus on two particular tools. They're called array. One of them is a gridded array or a rectangular array, and the other one is something called a polar array. What you'll be doing is creating circles and then filling those circles with these patterns of, of line work. Okay, so in my AutoCAD file, I've got the, the spiral and the golden rectangle, which is right here. And next I'm going to be doing um, this polar array. So I'm gonna slide over here a little bit and give myself a little bit of space. And I'm gonna start by constructing a circle anywhere over here that has a radius of one. Okay, and I'll zoom in a little bit. Okay, next what I'll do, and let me just move this over a little bit, is create the rectangular array. So the tool for this um, is right here on the home ribbon. When I click on it, you can see that it's going to basically make um, a series of rows and columns of some object or objects that you select. That's the one I wanna start with. I'm gonna choose my circle and press enter. Okay, now you'll see up at the top where the ribbon is that um, it is defaulting to four columns, three rows, and the space between those columns and rows is three units. So I'm gonna make a few changes to this. I'm gonna make this three, and I'll make this one 2.5, so they're a little closer, and this one also 2.5. Okay, now if you had entered and left the command, I can still pick it and it will give me the opportunity to continue to make changes. But this is what we want, 3, 3, 2.5, 2.5. All right, now what I'll do is come down to one of these circles and this is where you get to choose what it is exactly you wanna put in the circle. Um, let's say I started with an arc. And you know, maybe I want it to touch the edge, maybe I don't. And what I could then do would be to, in order to make this kind of repeating pattern, click on that object. And instead of doing a rectangular array, I'm gonna do a polar array. Okay. And it's going to ask me to pick the center. So I wanna pick the center of my circle. You can see it found it. I've got some other object snaps on, so it's kind of gravitating to those, but I can just pick this one that's identified or I could go and turn off some of those object snaps. Okay, so that's the first, um, the default would be that it's gonna create six items and it's gonna fill a 360 degree circle um, with 60 degrees between each one. That fine, but I could also just kind of play around with these to see what is the most interesting effects. What if I make this 24, for example, okay? And what if I draw another shape on top of it that you know has a different geometry? I could, for example, I'm gonna go back by undoing, by typing U as a way to undo. I'll go back to my original one. What happens if I made let's say a line from this end point to, I don't know, to this quadrant point. And then I polar array the two elements together. So I can go to the polar array tool, pick the two objects and pick my center point here. And it's gonna produce a different kind of pattern. And again, I could play around with, okay, well, how many? Maybe 12 or something like that, right? So each one of these, you're gonna explore a different composition of um, lines, circles, triangles, um, whatever you're interested in drawing and, and fill them in, in that array, that the rectangular array of nine circles.